Hi, it's Jeff from Nature Watch, and I'm really excited to introduce our Survival Bracelet Activity Kit. The Survival Bracelet is made using paracord. Paracord is the nylon rope used in parachutes. But survivalists use the paracord for many different outdoor living situations, including shelter building, trapping, making fishing nets from the inner filaments, water rescues, trail markers, first aid, you can even replace a broken shoelace with it. Paracord is really versatile because it's very lightweight and yet very strong. The cord included in this kit can hold up to 325 pounds without breaking. For these reasons, paracord is very important to the military and was even used on a space shuttle mission years ago to repair the Hubble Space Telescope. By making a paracord survival bracelet, you'll always have this incredible survival tool at your fingertips. It's also fun. We hope the instructions that follow make it easy. Enjoy! Our kits include everything you need, with a couple of exceptions that are available as household items. One is a good quality scissors. You'll also need a ruler or tape measure. And a lighter if an adult is available, or just basic craft glue if not. The first step in making your bracelet is to cut a seven foot piece of cord, which is a good length for a child size bracelet. An adult size would be closer to eight feet. Next, fold the piece of cord in half and put the loop through one end of the buckle. It doesn't matter which end you put it through. Take the two loose ends and pull them through the loop, then pull tight. The cord is now attached to one end of the buckle. Take the two loose ends of paracord again, but this time put them through the unused side of the buckle. Make sure that the cords aren't twisted. Next, place your hand into the loop as if you were putting on the bracelet. Note that the buckle is contoured, so make sure that it's going in the correct direction to wrap around your wrist. Pull the cords through until the bracelet is the appropriate size for your wrist. Hold that spot by pinching your fingers. Release the two ends of the buckle and then measure the bracelet. For most children, this length will be about six inches, and for most adults, it'll be closer to seven inches. Once you've measured, lay the bracelet flat out in front of you just as this photo shows. The two middle strands are the framework for the bracelet, while the two outside strands are the working cords that you will tie the knots with. The first knot will actually secure the clip, which is shown at the top of this photo. It's the trickiest knot to tie. Don't worry if it takes you a couple of tries. You can always go back and do it over again. You're now beginning to tie the square knot which creates the cobra pattern. The way to tie the square knot is to start by looping the left cord downward and cross it over the two middle strands. Next, bring the right cord down over the top of the crossed left cord and then under the two middle strands and through the loop on the left side. Pull that tight and you've just tied your first square knot. At this point, the length of your bracelet has now been set. This is a good time to try on the bracelet and see if it's either too loose or too tight. You can easily adjust the length by slightly loosening the knot and adjusting the buckle shown at the top. Now start your square knot on the right side. This is exactly opposite of the way you started the last knot. Loop the right cord downward and cross it over the middle two strands. Place the left cord over the crossed right cord, then under the middle two strands and through the loop on the right side. Pull tight and your second knot is complete. Check out this video, which demonstrates the ongoing knot tying. Continue to alternate left and right as you make the knots and then push each knot upward to tighten. If you happen to forget which side you're on, that's okay. You always start on the side that has the vertical cord coming down the side of the bracelet. Just before you reach the halfway point of the bracelet, take one of the clip-on compasses and pass all four cords through the back of the compass. This picture is taken from the back. 
Then resume knot tying beneath the compass in the same pattern that you started above. Continue knot tying until you reach the end of the bracelet. Then cut each end leaving about a quarter inch of cord. If an adult is available, melt each end using a lighter or a match. It only takes a few moments on each side for the cord to melt. Make certain the cord is cooled off prior to putting the bracelet on. If no adult is available, that's okay. Use regular craft glue and put a couple beads of glue over each end. This will stop the cord from fraying. Please visit our website at www.nature-watch.com for more information about this kit and many others.